uh, we're going to go ahead and do part two of the um, anthem song. So if you're at this point, you've already uh, finished part one, which is sections one, two, and three. So now we're going to work on the final part. And I should have um, been added to your project already. Uh, but go ahead and log on to your Soundtrap account. Um, and your project at this point should be saved already. So we're going to go here. Um, this is my account, and here's my projects, and here's mine. Okay. So now we have this, uh, and we also want to open up in our Google Classroom the project, uh, the in-class project assignment. So we're going to scroll down and go to in-class project. Here's the Anthem project. So we want to uh, make sure that we're referencing this form grid over here. So we've done section one, section two, and section three. Now we've got to close out, and there's only four parts here. So this section is going to start at 45 and go until 60, uh, 65. Um, so the instruction is to go and choose two instruments from section two and two instruments from section three um, and have them play at once all the way until the end. So we're gonna go ahead and do that in our song. So here's mine. I decided that I'm gonna choose this one from section two, the red one. And what you do is you click it and then you make sure it's highlighted and you do control C, which is the copy function. You're going to bring your cursor over to bar 45 and click that and do control V, which pastes it. So then I adjust it and make sure it was from 45 to 65. I'm going to do the same thing with this purple one. So I clicked it. I'm doing control C, the copy, do control V or paste, and then drag it over. Now for this, uh, part three, I'm going to choose this green one and the yellow one, and all I have to do is drag them over. We're almost done here. So then we're going to reference the form grid, and the next instruction is to click edit in every one of those instruments in this section and add a fade out. So, so here's click edit, that's the instruction, and do the fade out. When you successfully add a fade out, there's going to be a yellow triangle that's faded at the end of your track. So these two tracks for me are complete for the fade out, but I'm going to add one for this red one. So I clicked edit and I clicked fade out. And now that faded triangle is there. I'm going to go ahead and do that for the purple one. Edit, fade out. And that instruction is done. You're going to have to go ahead and click edit on your next two and make sure that every track Every instrument in this last section has a fade out. Okay, now the final step is, because we're basically done creating the general picture of the song, we're going to listen to the whole song and adjust the volume because we don't want any instruments when they come in to be very forceful and we don't want them to be too quiet that we can't hear them. Um, so that final step is over here, listen to the whole song. And we'll go ahead and listen to mine. So what we're doing is we're listening for balance of the level, and we're going to mix them so that they sound good. And you can adjust the volume. Uh, there's a tiny VOL knob, so that means volume. You're going to click it and drag it up or down uh, based off of what you think sounds good. So I'm going to go ahead and click play, and we're just going to start from here, and we're going to listen to when this purple and blue one come in. Okay. So I felt like that the brass was a bit too loud, so I'm gonna bring it down so it's a little bit smoother. And let's do that one more time. Yep, 
a little bit smoother now. So you're going to go ahead and listen to your whole song and listen to all of these entrances to make sure that you like the balance of the level of every instrument when they come in. Once you've done that, you can go ahead, once you've adjusted your volume for the whole song for all the instruments, you're going to click save. Make sure that I'm shared on here. And you should be able to invite me. If it doesn't let you, that means that you've already invite me and you are solid. So that's how you do that last part and you're done with your first composition. It's going to be great because we can all add it onto the album. All right. Hope you have a great week. Thank you.